Maestro is a supervillain who I like to call Hulk OG. Depicted as an evil version of the Hulk with a dark and evil, malevolent Dungeons and Dragons mentality. So get your marshmallows ready and grab a seat at the campfire as we jump into Maestro, Hulk OG, Future Imperfect. After a devastating nuclear war destroyed most of the human race, the Hulk and a group of other radiation empowered heroes were captured by AIM and MODOK with the goal of eventually analyzing their physiologies to recreate their immunity to radiation. However, about 100 years afterwards, the Hulk, now operating in a state where he had Bruce Banner's intelligence, he broke out of the VR machine that they were using to keep him contained and decided to work on rebuilding the world himself. Traveling to America, he became disheartened with the state of the country including the destruction of the Hoover, the Hoover Dam and Mount Rushmore. Until he found people still alive under Washington, the initial entrance was guarded by the Machine Man, who led the Hulk to the Maestro, who ruled this group of survivors. The Hulk swiftly recognizing him as Hercules. Yeah, Hercules, you know that dude, the god type like, yeah, man god, yeah, Hercules. He punched the Hulk away just to affirm their old status as sparring partners. Hulk, meet, Hulk meets with Rick Jones, who explained that Hercules is now only interested in ruling humans and having sparring partners, and just, you know, sparring partners and matches of sex, you know, the humans and stuff, you, you like the human women, you know, you have humans, rock on. So, anyway, although the Hulk expresses little interest in helping ordinary people for the sake of helping them after they cause the apocalypse, yeah, humans, you know, cause the apocalypse, Hope that don't happen in real life, but <laughs> who knows? When Rick reminds him that most of the people close to Hulk were just normal humans, he infiltrates the remains of Alchemax to recreate the Dogs of War to oppose Hercules' forces. Hercules entered the fray and fought off the Dogs of War. He then called the Hulk out to catch a fade and bang on him the way Terrence Crawford beat up Earl Spence. That was sad, but Hercules spared his life to make him a part of his entourage. Hulk, however, wanted to make amends and vanished for a number of years before returning with UFO's member Vapor, who Hulk had seduced Hercules to get close to him so she could then um, poison him, you know, by turning into a uh, vapor gas. That's why they call it vapor. Yeah, and you know, Hercules, you know, being uh, just want to have sex and slobbing all over her and stuff. Yeah, she, she turned into vapor on him and. <laughs> Lights out, brother. He was gone. Hulk then turned on Vapor by freezing her, shattering her into pieces and having the pieces that she was shattered into buried over a vast area so she could never regenerate. As Hulk tried to publicly cremate her, publicly cremate her, Hercules' corpse, he sprung back to life, sent to Hades to intact his revenge. Hercules proved to too powerful a physical threat, and even the dogs of war were no challenge for him. When a former member of Rick Jones Rebels unleashed a weapon designed by Forge years previously to kill the Hulk, the evil Hulk managed to evade the weapon before his ally, the minister, used it to execute Hercules and once and for all. Hulk then went to confront Rick about his friends like, yo, if they failed attempt to kill him but found Rick and his artifact gone. Rick then communicate with the Hulk remotely, comparing him to his father before trying to kill him with a bomb. However, Hulk survived the explosion. Maestro developed a new movement he called um, post-apocalyptic, post yeah, post-apocalyptic existence or PAX which would destroy the remaining division in humanity and replace it with a single overlord himself. Maestro implemented this movement by expanding his domain beyond dystopia to surrounding areas like Connecticut, yeah, New Haven, New Haven, Connecticut, and the underground community living beneath Washington, D.C. Through the community, escaped and destroyed their home to spite Maestro. Maestro also joined forces with Dr. Doom to destroy both AIM and Maestro's former team, the Pantheon. As there were two organizations that remained that threatened their plans to rule the world when AIM and the Pantheon were vanquished, Maestro and Doom turned on each other. Of course they did. Leading to a fight between the two that led to Doom's retreat, driven insane by the devastation everything he has lost along with the excess radiation he absorbed after the nuclear fallout. 
the Hulk eventually adopted the title of the new maestro, while gaining even greater strength than before from absorbing the excess radiation after the nuclear holocaust, an elderly Rick Jones encounters the reality hopping mutant Proteus, who has possessed the body of an alternate reality Hulk from the year 2009, 2099, you know, the long, uh, fangs and the big lion mane look like he got on him or something like that yeah that's 2099 home proteus intends to discard his current body and possess the maestros jones unaware of his plan provides a weapon created by the x-man forge which might be able to kill maestro however the plan fails when the maestro is warned by the exiles who are pursuing proteus proteus possesses a new host and flees to another world Breaking the maestro's neck during his escape, years later, the maestro, fully recovered from his injury, encounters a time-traveling um, Guinness Vale and Spider-Man from 2099. Manipulated by the supervillain Thanatos, the three battle, Guinness Vale and Spider-Man 2099, eventually return to their own time, with no consequence for the maestro. When the elderly Rick uses his ability to wheel Thor's hammer, Mulgener, he defeats the Nottles, acquiring Dr. Doom's time machine. The rebels opposing Maestros bring the Professor Hulk forward from the past, hoping that he can defeat the Maestro. Although Hulk's ability to, to, ability to improvise allows him to score some effective blows against the Maestro. But the Maestro's superior strength and experience, combined with his knowledge of the Hulk's strategies, allow him to easily dominate the Hulk and break his neck. Knowing Hulk will soon heal, he shows Hulk around the city, attempting to convince his younger self to side with him. You know, yeah, it's kind of slick. But realizes that the Hulk is pretending to be more injured than he really is, with the intention of launching an attack. The Maestro is defeated when the Hulk lures him back into Rebel's base. The Maestro is throwing Rick Jones into Wolverine's skeleton in the process, subsequently using Doom's time machine to send the Maestro back to the time and place that Hulk was created. Ground Zero During the testing of the atomic gamma bomb appearing next to the bomb itself, Maestro is killed in the same moment that creates the Hulk. Hulk learns that the homing sense that has always allowed him to locate Ground Zero, his birthplace, is actually attracted to the Maestro's spirit and remains. The Maestro has been absorbing gamma radiation from the Hulk each time he returns to the site, gradually restoring himself. He emerges initially in a weakened and emaciated form, but is retrieved by a group of Asgardian rock trolls. The exhausted Maestro attempts to use the Destroyer against the Hulk, the trolls having provided him with the armor as a weapon to compensate for his current weakness, he is driven out when the Hulk manages to transmit his soul into the Destroyer as well. Exploiting the fact that the Maestro is still technically him and forces the Maestro back into his still weakened body, which is last seen buried in a small rock slide along with the trolls. After Banner's banner is shot in the head, that's cold. The subsequent attempt to retreat the brain damage with extremists caused the Hulk to be upgraded to the persona of Doc Green, a version of the Hulk with access to Banner's intelligence. Doc Green sets out to hunt down and cure all other gamma-based mutations, but in the process he begins to experience dreamlike visions of the maestro, creating the possibility that Doc Green would eventually become his dark future self, starting with him contemplating growing a beard. However, Doc Green eventually recognized the potential dangers of the Maestro's aspects of his personality when he realized that part of him enjoyed eliminating his rivals. Deciding to accept the eventual, eventual loss of his intellect as extremists wore off rather than risk the persona emerging, he leaves the last injection of the cure with She-Hulk, who is the only gamma mutation whose life he felt had been legitimately enhanced her condition. He instructs her to use it on him if he goes too far. OG Hulk. Future Imperfect. Dope story. Now, with that said, I'm Ra, your comic connoisseur at the campfire. Now just go full nerd mode by clicking on like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell to be notified when new content has been uploaded. Then you will be an official comic connoisseur for Elm City comic book collectors. I'm out. Peace.